Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. If you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. This cozy number you're looking at here is something I've been wanting to make for a while now. I've always thought seamless turtlenecks were cool and I finally thought a way to construct it so naturally a new video was coming and I couldn't be happier with the results. It's classic yet modern and surprisingly easy to make so I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. I always get a kick out of seeing your makes. It's truly inspiring, especially when you guys start making it right away. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy like, so thank you and because I want to keep that going, I'm going to go make the next video, but you guys grab a snack, click the bell so you don't miss out on the next one, and enjoy. For this project, any category 4 yarn will work, but I use a skein of Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo in Cafe Latte. As for tools, a 3.5 and, and 5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. And watch the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using three stitches for this project and they will be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet, and half double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5mm hook and we're going to make a chain that reaches from our underarm down to where we want the bottom of the top to be keeping in mind that we will have a bottom band as well. So I'm going to make a chain of 21 and that's 5 inches or 13 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain to a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet. We're going to prepare for a half double crochet, insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook with a half double. Let's do the next one together. Prepare for a half double crochet. Insert your hook into that next chain, pull through, we should have three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Make your way down your chain, putting one half double crochet into each. And now that we've made our way down to the end with our half double crochets, to start up the next row, we're going to do a chain up of two and flip our work. And from here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we have just one left. And then we're going to come back so we can increase into there together. All right, so we are back and we are ready to go in with our increase of two back loop half double crochets into that last stitch. So we're going to prepare for a half double crochet, insert our hook into that last back loop with one half double, and then insert your hook into that same back loop with another back loop half double, just like that. And then from here, we're going to do a chain up of two. Flip our work and work our way down, putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And we're going to keep working these rows where we increase into every other half double crochet row until this reaches from mid underarm to the front of our body. And we just want to make sure that we're stretching it as if we're wearing it. And then I'll meet you guys back on the increase side. We are back with our underarm portion where we did an increase into every other row. And I just ended up having a total of four and we meet it on the increase side. From here, we want just a little bit more height. So for the next few rows, we're going to be increasing into every row until we get to the top of our armpit. So since I'm at the top, I'm gonna do a chain up of two, flip my work, and then start with an increase. So there's our increase of two back loop half double crochets. And then I'm gonna be putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, making our way down and we're going to increase into every row until this reaches the top of our armpit, and then I'll meet you guys back on the increase side again. We are back with our rows that now reach the top of our armpit, and now I have a total of six rows. And from here, we're gonna measure up from this point to the top of our shoulder and make that chain count. I'm gonna make a chain of seven inches or 18 centimeters, and that's a total of 27 chains. And get your stitch marker ready because we're gonna to need to use that at the end of this chain. Now that we have that chain, we are going to do an extra chain and then insert your stitch marker 
into there because this is now our middle point. And then from here, we're actually going to work down the other side and make the back panels underarm portion at the same time. So the same amount of chains that we made right here, we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to make another chain of 27. And now that we have our back panel shoulder chain, what we're going to do is grab another stitch marker and then insert it into that last chain. And from here, we're going to count out the amount of stitches that we have along the length that we have of our underarm portion. So from here, I actually have a total of 25 stitches, so I'm gonna make a total of 25 chains. And now that we have this portion of our chain finished up, we can now do the same thing that we did here, but in reverse. So from the bottom of our chain, we're going to block off that last one to a chain up of two, prepare for a half double crochet, insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook with a half double crochet. And then we're gonna go all the way up, putting one half double crochet into every chain until we have two stitches right before the stitch marker. And now that we've made our way down with our half double crochets till we have just two stitches right before our stitch marker, we're going to do a decrease of two into there together. So prepare for a half double crochet. Insert your hook into that second to last chain, pull through and then into that last chain, pull through, we should have four loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull through all four and that's how we do our decreases. Let's do just one more together. The next row that I have right here was my row where I was trying to get height to get to my armpit. So this next one is an increased row, so I'm gonna be repeating it here, but with a decrease. We're gonna do a chain up of two and flip our work. Prepare for a half double. Insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through. Into that next back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through, all four. And then from here, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, making our way down. And everything that we did along this side, we're going to repeat the same thing along this side making sure that we are decreasing in the same rows that we increased on this side. I'll meet you guys back once we have this entire piece all finished up. All right, so we have just finished up going in with our back panels under arm portion. And from here, we're going to seam up the two ends that we have. So what we're going to do is just lay this end on top of this one. And since our hook is already into this spot, we're gonna insert our hook into the corner loop of our back panel. We're going to yarn over and pull through everything and then from here we're going to go in with a single crochet making sure we're going in through the front and the back panel at the same time so inserting your hook into the first available stitch into the front panel and then also inserting your hook into the first available stitch into the back panel we're going to single crochet let's do one more together into the next available loop into the front panel and then into the next available loop into the back panel single crochet and we are going to keep doing this going all the way up and when we don't have any more stitches left do a chain up of one and cut and now that we have our underarms seamed up what we are going to do next is start to work in our shoulder chunk so we're just going to go back and forth with rows of back loop half double crochets until this reaches the base of our neck i'm just going to show you guys where we're going to be inserting our hook so we want to make sure that we're going into the side that we just finished and an indicator of what side that is, is going to be the side where we inserted our stitch marker. So along this edge, we're going to insert our hook into this back loop, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of two. And then from here, we're going to go all the way around, putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, a half double crochet into every chain, and just making sure that when we get to this middle stitch marker that we have, we are inserting it into that stitch and then bringing our way back down. And we're just gonna keep going back and forth like that until we get a chunk that is wide enough to fit on our shoulder. And I'll meet you guys back. All right, so we have just made our way across with our shoulder portion and this was a total of three rows for me. Well, once when we get here, we're actually going to do a quick chain up of one and cut down here. We're gonna make a chain from where this top stitch marker is the length that we want our turtleneck to be and then we're going to go back in from the bottom going all the way back up with back loop half double crochets continuing up into that chain so we're going to do a chain up of one and cut down here take our yarn make a slip knot insert our hook into that middle stitch marker that we have into the shoulder 
and then we're going to make a chain the length that we want our turtleneck to be. I want mine to be about two inches or five centimeters, so I'm going to make a chain of six. Once when I have that, I'm going to pull some slack and cut. And then reattach my hook into this bottom portion and then work my way up with back loop half double crochets, including into this chain. So into this first back loop, we have inserted our hook. We're going to pull through and do a chain up of two. That counts as a half double crochet. And just for this first row, into that same stitch that we just went into, we're going to go into that same stitch with a half double and put one back loop half double into every stitch, including into our chain. So we've just made our way all the way up with our back loop half double crochets, including into our chain. And from here, we're just going to go straight across, putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we reach the other side of our chest. But we do want to make sure that we are stretching it as if we we're wearing it when we're putting it up to ourselves. So I'll meet you guys back at the turtleneck end after those rows, and then we can work on our back piece. All right, so I am back and I have just finished up going in with the body portion for my front panel, including our turtleneck. I did do a chain up of one and cut because we're going to go in with the back panel now. The back panel is going to be constructed a little bit different, so we're going to do that together. So once when we have that, we're going to flip our work over and then into that same stitch that our stitch marker is into, or into that same stitch that our chain up is coming out of, we're going to insert our hook into there. So you can take this guy out for now, and then insert your hook into that, ooh, wrong end, same stitch. <laughs> insert your hook and pull through. From here, we're gonna do a chain up of two, and then we're going to prepare for a half double crochet and then into the next two stitches, we're going to go in with a decrease of two back loop half double crochets. And we're doing this so that along the back, we get a little scoop. So into that next back loop, insert your hook, pull through. Into the next back loop, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all four. And then from here, we're going to be putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch making our way down. Once we get down to the bottom, we're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then bring it on back up because we're only going to be decreasing into every other row. And we're doing it this way, starting at the top, I mean, so that it seems like this row that's up here is going up and over our shoulders so that our ribbing matches throughout the entirety of our piece. So go ahead and make our way all the way down. Bring it back up and then continue doing decreases into every other row. And then I'll actually meet you guys back once when we have half of our back panel finished up because along the other side, we're going to go in with increases into every other row. So I'll meet you guys back once when I have that all finished up. So I am back and I have made my way all the way down to my middle row. Just as an example, my front panel had a total of 15 rows. And from my back, since I'm making it the same amount of rows, I have a total of seven rows right now. My eighth is just going to be a row of back loop half double crochets with no increases, no decreases, which is perfect because it actually goes along with the pattern that we're doing. And then the next row after that, we're going to go in with our increases. So from here, I'm just going to be putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, making my way up. All right, so I have just made my way back up with my middle row, which was just back loop half double crochets. We're going to get started on this next side together, and then I'm going to let you guys go from there. So since we're at the top, all we're going to do is do a chain out of two that counts as a half double crochet and then into that first back loop we're going to go in with an increase of two so there is one and then two back loop half double crochets into that first back loop that we have from here put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch making our way down our next row won't have any increases or decreases into there we're going to be alternating between a row of half double and then a row where we increase and we're going to keep doing that going all the way down until we are just one row away from finishing. And then I'll show you guys how to connect it to the front and then we'll finish this section up. All right, so we are back and we have just made our way all the way down until we have just one row left because I'm going to show you guys how we're going to seamlessly 
insert our back to our front and then work our way down and then just kind of keep going with the rest. But what we're going to do from here is we're going to do our chain up of two. Before we do anything else, we're going to count out the same amount of stitches that we made chains for our turtleneck. So I ended up doing a chain up of six. So I'm going to count down six stitches and I already have my stitch marker in there. But after our chain out of two, we are going to slip stitch into that stitch yarn over and pull through everything. And then once when we have that, we can now work our way back down, finishing off the last row for our back panel. So we're going to prepare for a half double crochet, insert our hook into that next back loop. And then this is going to be another increase if we're following the pattern correctly. So there's two. And then we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, making our way back down. So we've just made our way down with our last row when it comes to our back portion. And now we're going to go in with our shoulder portion, which is just going to be one back loop half double crochet going all the way up and over and down the other side. And we're going to be doing that for the same amount of rows as we have over here for our shoulder portion. And we just want to double check and make sure that we have the same amount of stitches as this side. But go ahead and get those rows done and then I'll meet you back. Okay, so I have just finished up going in with my shoulder portion. And now we're just going to close this off by doing our underarm pieces. They're going to be pretty much exactly the same way that we did these. So we're just going to blaze through these really quickly. The first thing that we have to do before we actually get started is remember the chain count that we did when we were going in with our back panels underarm portion? That is the same amount of stitches as this last row that we have. We're going to take that count and then from the bottom, count it up and then insert our stitch marker into there. And we want to do that for both the front and the back panel because we're going to have to do the same thing for both. Might as well just do it all now. But once when we get here, I'm actually working on this side, so we're going to flip it over. We are going to make our way all the way down with back loop half double crochets until we have just one stitch right before our stitch marker. And then we're going to do our decrease into there together. And now that we've made our way down with our back loop half double crochets, we have just one stitch right before our stitch marker. So let's do our decrease into there together as a quick refresher. We're going to prepare for a half double crochet, insert our hook into that next back loop, pull through, and into the back loop after that, pull through if we can. We should have four loops on our hook. So we're going to yarn over, pull through all four, do a chain out of two, flip our work, and then we're going to repeat the same thing that we did along this side. So we should have had just a couple rows where we did increases into the next few rows. And then for our underarm portion, we went into every other. So if you guys are doing the same thing as me, for this row, I did a decrease. For my next row, I'm going to do a decrease. And then from there, I'm just going to alternate between a decrease and a regular half double crochet row until I end up having the same amount of rows as this side. So go ahead and get that side done. And then I will show you guys where we're going to insert our hook for the back piece. All right, so we have just finished up going in with this underarm portion. And now we're going to do pretty much the same thing, but just along this side. And we are going to be inserting our hook into a different spot because we want the ribbing to all match up. So for this back half, I just made sure that I inserted my hook into right where the stitch marker is, making sure I'm going in through the back loop. And then we're just going to do a chain out of two, do our decrease of two back loop half double crochets, and then continue on with the sequence of whatever your pattern is until we have the same amount of rows. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam this up together. All right, so we have just finished up going in with our last underarm portion. And what we're gonna do from here is seam this up together. The only thing that we need to make sure is when we're seaming it up, we want this seam along this side to be faced outward so that all of our seams can be on the same side. But this is going to be done exactly the same way, so I'm just gonna talk you guys through it. We wanna make sure that our hook is in through the corner loop of both of our panels. And from here, we're going to pull through to secure. Do a chain up of one, and then we're going to be doing a single crochet going in through the front and the back panel at the same time. So into the next available stitch into the front panel, insert your hook, and then into the next available stitch into the back panel, insert your hook, and then single crochet. And keep doing this going all the way down. Do a chain up of one and cut once when we don't have any more stitches left, and then I'll meet you guys back at the top so we can finish off our turtleneck. All right, so we have just finished up going in with the body portion, and now we're going to close off the back half of our turtleneck portion. So the first thing we're going to have to do is just go across with the row of single crochet. So we're going to be inserting our hook, 
into the corner stitch that we have right here. My stitch mark is in here. We can actually take this out now. And then we're going to insert our hook right into this stitch and pull through. And then from here, we're going to do a chain up of one. And we're just going to be going across with two single crochets into every side half double crochet row. So let's do the first bit together. So let's find my first side half double crochet row, which is right here into that first side row. There is one single crochet and then there is two into that next one. We're going to find whatever loop we can on top. There is one and there's two. And then just keep working your way all the way across, putting two single crochets into every side half double crochet row. Slip stitch it into the same stitch that we first inserted our hook into along this side. So this opening loop thing right here. And then do a chain up of one and cut. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can fill in the height. So we have just finished up going in with our single crochet row along our neck hole, I guess. And what we're going to do from here is go in with our turtleneck. The first thing we want to do is make sure that our work is flipped right side out, meaning that all of our seams are on the inside. From here, we're going to turn our work to the side. And then we're going to first insert our hook into this outside corner that we have from our turtleneck. Then from here, we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through. From here, we're going to go in with a chain up of two. And then we're going to put one half double crochet into every stitch that we have. And then into that last one, we're going to go in with an increase. So we're going to prepare for a half double crochet. Insert your hook into that next stitch with a half double. We're just going to keep doing this until you have just one stitch left. Now we've gone in with our half double crochets. We have one stitch left. It might be a little hard to see. But there it is right there and we're going to go in with an increase of two half double crochets so prepare for a half double and then into that last stitch go in with two half doubles so there is one and then there is two and from here we're going to slip stitch it into the base but we're going to make sure that we're only slip stitching it into the inside loop i guess here let's take a look at this together so into the single crochet row, we're going to count up one, count up two stitches into that next stitch that we're going to be slip stitching into. We're not going to go in through both of the top loops that we typically do. We're going to go into that loop that is along the inside of our work. And from here, we're going to yarn over and pull through everything. And that's going to be how we are connecting it into the base. So let's start up our next row. We're going to slip stitch into the next back loop and then once more, and then flip our work. And then also, <laughs> since we're doing it this way, we're actually gonna be mimicking all of the increases and decreases that we have over here. So for my next row, we didn't do anything into there. So we're just going to leave that as one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. So no increases, no decreases. Let's flip our work together. We're going to prepare for a half double crochet. Insert our hook into that first back loop pull through, pull through three, and just make your way going all the way down, putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. All right, and then let's do the next one together. So we just made our way down with our second row and our second row didn't have any increases or decreases into the next row. We're going to go in with another increase. So do a chain up of two and flip our work. Put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch leaving the last one because we're going to do an increase into there together. So we've made our way all the way down. We have just one stitch left into that last back loop. We're going to go in with an increase. So there's one into that same back loop. There's two half double crochets and we're going to connect it into the base together as well. So we're going to count up one, count up two stitches, slip stitch into that back loop, yarn over and pull through everything. And we're going to maintain this until we reach the middle, just like how we did for the back. And then from here, we're going to go back up the other direction and then we can close this off. Okay. So we've just made our way down doing our increases into every other row and we have slip stitch it into every back loop and we are at our middle row. So I just wanted to do this one with you guys. 
we're going to slip stitch into the next two back loops that's into the base. There's one, there's two. Go ahead and flip your work and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And then I'll meet you guys back once when we work our way back down and leaving the last two because we're going to have to do decreases because it's coming back up. All right, so I have just made my way down with my next row and we have left our last two stitches because we're going to do a decrease together. So really quickly, we're going to prepare for a half double, insert our hook into that second to last back loop, pull through, into that last back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four loops. And then we're going to slip stitch into the second back loop we have into the base. So there's one, there's two, and that's it. You guys pretty much know the deal from here. We're going to slip stitch into the next two back loops to work our way up to the next row. We're going to bring it back up without any decreases. I'm just going to decrease into every other row until we don't have any more stitches left. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam it up. Okay, we just made our way across with the back half of our turtleneck and we have just these two slits left. So we are going to seam it up together. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that it's flipped wrong side out so that all of our seams are facing the same direction. Once my mark is flipped wrong side out, now we're going to just seam it up together. So just do the first one. We're going to insert our hook into the first available stitch into the front panel and then into the next stitch into the back panel. Yarn over pull through, pull through two with a single crochet. When we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one and cut and then flip your work right side out again. And now we are back. We have seamed everything right side out and now we're going to go in with the hood and we're going to be working into these loops that we left for ourselves. That's why we were going in through the back loops when we were closing off our turtleneck. But we are first going to be inserting our hook into this corner loop that we have right here. And then we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through. And for this first row, we're going to be doing increases into every seventh stitch. So what we're going to do is put one back loop half double crochet into the next six stitches. Now that we have our half double crochets into the seventh, we're going to go in with an increase. So there is one and then there's two. And we're going to keep repeating this until we don't have any more of these back loops to go into. So six half double crochets and then increase into the seventh. We just made our way down with our first row of our hood and what we're going to do from here is more rows where we do our increases into every seventh stitch until the hood gets wide enough for us. So I'm going to go ahead and do mine and then I'll meet you guys back when I have mine to let you guys know how many rows I end up with. So I'm back and I now have a total of seven rows where we did an increase of two into every seventh stitch and this is the width that I need. From here, I'm going to go in with the height of my hood. So work your way up with no increases or decreases till this reaches the crown of our head. All right, so I am back and I'm all finished up going in with the height of my hood. And I ended up just having a total of 24 rows. Once we have that, we are going to go in with marking off where we need the middle portion of our hood to be. The only thing that we need to make sure is along the outsides, it is an even number. And then from there, we're just going to go in with half double crochets in between, and we're just going to fill it out. So I've inserted my stitch markers into the 26th stitch from the edges going all the way in. Once we have that, I'm going to flip my work. And from here, since my stitch marker is into the even number, I'm going to insert my hook into there, insert my yarn onto my hook and pull through and from here we're going to prepare for a half double crochet but we are going to skip the next stitch and then insert it into the second stitch after that so prepare for a half double crochet insert our hook into there and then pull through once we have that as you guys can see it's starting to close this off and we're going to put one half double crochet into every stitch until we have just one stitch right before our next stitch marker And now that we've done our half double crochets all the way down, we have left this last stitch that we have right before our stitch with the stitch marker in it. So from here, we're going to skip this stitch, slip stitch into that stitch, just like that. And now our first row is all closed off. Now let's get started with our next one. We're going to insert our hook into that next stitch with one slip stitch, 
and then we're going to go into the next one with another slip stitch. Go ahead and flip your work. And then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch that we have. And then we're going to do the same thing when we get to the end. We're going to keep going back and forth like this until we don't have any more stitches left to go into. All right, so we have just finished up going in with the entirety of the middle portion of our hood. And now for the hood, the last thing we're going to do is just clean up the edges. So we're going to turn our work to the side, insert our hook into where our first half double crochet is. We're going to pull through and then we're just, oops, we're going to make it all the way around, putting two single crochets into every side half double crochet. When we make it to the middle, there's some regular stitches for us to go into. And then close this off, putting two single crochets into every side half double and then slip stitch into this corner. So we've just finished up cleaning up the edge of our hood and the next thing we're going to do is go in with our bottom band. So we're going to insert our hook into any one of these stitches. It doesn't matter which one, but we are going to be alternating between one to two single crochet into each of our side half double crochet rows. So we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through. Once we've done that, we're going to do a chain up of one to secure and into this first side half double crochet that I have, I'm going to go in with one single crochet. And then into my next side half double crochet, we're going to go in with two single crochets. So there's one. And then into that same side half double crochet, there's two. And just keep alternating back and forth like that until we reach our chain up of one. Go ahead and slip stitch into there and then grab your three and a half millimeter hook and I'll meet you guys back. So we just made our way all the way around with our single crochet row along our bottom band. We did switch out our hook for our three and a half millimeter hook and now we're going to go in with the height that we want our bottom band to be. I want mine to be about two inches or five centimeters. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 10. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain up of one, and then into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, we're going to go in with a slip stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through everything on your hook. Put one slip stitch into every chain that we have, making our way down to the base. So we've just made our way all the way down, putting one slip stitch into every chain, and now we're going to connect it into the base. So into the next available stitch that we have, we're going to slip stitch it into there. So just yarn over and pull through everything. And in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, flip our work, and then we're going to go in with a bunch of back loop slip stitches. So insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over and pull through everything. And continue with going in with back loop slip stitches until we don't have any more stitches left to go into into the bottom band. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam it up together. So we've just finished up going in with our bottom band. We don't have any more stitches left to go into. So all we're going to do now is seam it up. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that our work is flipped wrong side out so that all of our seams are facing the same direction. And then just like before, we're going to be making sure that our hook is into the corner stitch into the front panel and then into the corner stitch of the back panel. From here, we're going to yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Once we have that, we're going to be inserting our hook into the first available stitch into the front panel and then into the first available stitch into the back panel. And then we're going to single crochet them together. Once we have that, we're going to continue doing that going all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left. And then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so we are back and we are ready to get started on our sleeve. I did get started with one of them just to make sure I had all the right numbers for you guys. So let's get started on the other one together. We're first going to insert our hook into the nearest side half double crochet row to our side seam that we have right here. Insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. From here, we're going to be putting one single crochet into the next side half double crochet row. So here's one. And then into the next, we're going to go in with two. So just alternating between one to two single crochet for this underarm portion. And then once when we reach this shoulder portion, where we have our regular stitches, 
We're going to go all the way up and around, putting one seam crochet into each of those. Just remember the number that we had for this underarm portion, because this is going to come into play for the next row. So we just made our way all the way around with our first row of single crochets, and we're just going to build our shoulder portion out just a little bit like we did over here. So what we're going to do is do a chain up of one and flip our work. Now that our work is flipped into the first two back loops, we're going to go in with a decrease of two back loop single crochets. So we're going to insert a hook into that first back loop, pull through, into that next back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And then in the previous clip, I said remember the amount of single crochets that we did for this underarm portion. We're going to go in with the same amount of single crochets going all the way up with back loop single crochets. I had a total of nine, so from here I'm going to go in with nine back loop single crochets. Now that we have our back loop single crochets, now we're going to switch out for our back loop half double crochets. So just prepare for a half double crochet, go into that next back loop, and then we're going to make our way all the way around putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we have the same amount of stitches that we used up right here along the side because then we're going to go in with our back loop single crochets and then a decrease of two back loop single crochets into the last two stitches slip stitch into that first chain up of one space and then i'll meet you guys back all right so we've just made our way down with our second row when it comes to our sleeve and from here to about mid shoulder we're going to keep going with the same amount of rows so we're going to start off with a decrease do the same amount of back loop single crochets, then half double crochet all the way up and around, back loop single crochets, and then decrease of two single crochets. And then just make sure that we do a chain up of one and flip our work after every row. I'll meet you guys back once when I have these few rows finished up, and then we can go in with the cold shoulder part. All right, so we are back and things are looking pretty good. We went in with just four rows for this shoulder portion, and now we can get started on our cold shoulder detail. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is actually try this on and figure out just about where you want the cutout for the cold shoulder to be. If you guys want to know my numbers from the bottom, counting up in both directions, I inserted my stitch marker into the 13th stitch. And then since it's still on, you guys are going to need to measure from this stitch marker around our arm over to the other stitch marker around the back and keep that in mind as well. But once when we have that, we can now get started on our next row. So what we're going to do from here is do a chain up of one and flip our work. And from here into the first two back loops, we're gonna go in with a decrease, we're still doing that, decrease of two back loop single crochets. And then from here, we're gonna be putting one back loop single crochet into every stitch that we have until we hit our stitch marker. All right, so I have just single crocheted all the way up to my stitch marker stitch. And then from here, I'm going to make my chain that wraps around my arm, and then I'm going to slip stitch it into this stitch marker stitch. So I have already measured mine out, and I'm going to start off by making a chain of 23, and that's 4 inches or 10 centimeters. Once when I have my chain, I will be slip stitching it into this stitch that I have right here, going in through that back loop. We're going to yarn over and pull through everything. And from here, we're going to continue going down with our back loop single crochets while maintaining the decrease of two at the end. Okay, so we've just made our way back with our first cold shoulder row, which started off our chain. Next, we're going to go in with another single crochet row, but we're going to start with some decreases again. So now that we have slip stitched into that chain up of one space, we're going to do a chain up of one and flip our work. Into the first two back loops, we're going to go in with our decrease of two back loop single crochets. So insert, pull through, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And then from here, we're going to be putting one back loop single crochet into every stitch that we have until we are at the last stitch right before our chain because we're going to do a decrease into that last stitch and also into that first chain. Now that we've made our way down to our last single crochet, we're going to insert our hook into that back loop, yarn over, pull through, and we're also going to insert our hook into that first chain that we have, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through all three loops. And then from here, put one single crochet into every chain that we have, leaving the last chain, 
because just like on this side, we're going to go in with a decrease into that last chain and also into the first back loop of our single crochet. Put one back loop single crochet into every stitch making our way down while remembering to do a decrease of two into the last two. And I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. All right, so we have just finished up going in with our previous row where we did a decrease into the end and then also into this corner as well. And now we're going to get started with our next row. And this is going to be another single crochet row. So we're going to do a chain up of one and flip our work. But we're not going to be doing any more decreases, not into the first two loops at least. So we're going to make our way all the way up, putting one back loop single crochet into every stitch until we hit this corner. And then we're going to do one more decrease into there. And now that we are at this corner, we're going to do a decrease of two. So insert into that next back loop, pull through into the back loop after that, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and then make our way going all the way across, putting one back loop single crochet into every stitch, decrease into this corner again, and then put one back loop single crochet into each of these stitches. I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. All right, so we have just finished up going in with our third row of our single crochet portion when it comes to our cold shoulder. And now we can start working on the length but we're also going to try to taper in the sleeve as much as possible. So what we're gonna do from here is do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then start off by doing a decrease of two back loop half double crochets. So just into the first two back loops, we're gonna prepare for a half double, insert, pull through, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, making our way around leaving the last two because we're going to decrease into there together and then from there we're just going to maintain doing the decreases within the first two and the last two stitches until this tapers down to the size that we need the sleeve to be. All right so we just made our way all the way around with our back loop half double crochet row and we're just going to decrease into here together and then I'll let you guys have at the rest. So we're going to prepare for a half double crochet, insert our hook into that second to last back loop, pull through into that last back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four, and then just slip stitch into that second chain that we made for ourselves when we started off this row. Do a chain up of two, and we're gonna maintain doing our decreases just like that until this tapers in over our arm. I'll meet you guys back once when it is tight enough to keep going down. All right, so I am back with my upper arm portion where we did our decreases into the first two and last two stitches into the row to get a more tapered sleeve. After a total of 12 rows, mine is nice and snug. So from here, I'm just gonna go in with rows of back loop half double crochets. And I'm just gonna keep going until I get the length that I want and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I am back and I have just finished up going all the way down with my sleeve and I'm ready to go in with my cuff. And just to let you guys know, from the first single crochet row that we did, counting all the way down, I have a total of 43 rows. And from here, I'm going to grab my three and a half millimeter hook, and then I'm going to work my cuff with that. And that's actually gonna be done the same exact way that we did our waistband. So I want my cuff and my waistband to be the same size. So I'm gonna start off by making another chain of 10. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain up of one, and then into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're gonna go in with a slip stitch. And we're gonna put one slip stitch into every chain. Now that I've made my way all the way down with my slip stitches, I'm now gonna slip stitch into the next available stitch into my base to close off that row. And in order to work my way up to the next row, I'm going to slip stitch into that next stitch into the base. From here, we're gonna flip our work and then make our way down, putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we're just gonna keep going around like that until we don't have any more stitches left and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam it all up together. All right, so we are back and we have just made our way all the way around with our back loop slip stitches and we don't have any more stitches left to go into. So now we're just gonna seam it up. The first thing we wanna make sure is that our work is slipped wrong side out so that all of our seams can be along the inside and this is going to be done exactly the same way as the other ones. 
So let's just get into the first one. We're going to insert our hook into the corner stitch that we have into the front panel. Mine is my working yarn. And then also insert your hook into the first available stitch into the back panel. And from here, we're just going to yarn over, pull through. And let's do this one more time. Into the next available stitch into the front panel. Insert your hook. Next available stitch into the back panel. Insert your hook. And then single crochet. And we're going to keep doing this going all the way down. Once we don't have any more stitches left, we're going to do a chain up of one and cut. And then everything that we just did here for the sleeve and the cuff, do the same thing on the other side. All right, we are back and we have just finished up going in with both of our sleeves and we are actually all done now. The last thing that we're going to have to do is just weave in all of our ends. We are done weaving in all of our ends and our top is all finished. This top was a blast to make from the fit to the seamless turtleneck and the modern hood. I'm really excited to share this with all, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us what project you're currently working on. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it really, really helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Links down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to fare the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one.